Alright guys, welcome back to my Clicker Heroes playthrough. So everyone, while we're offline, my heroes farm this amount of gold right here, which is absolutely awesome, man. This is so much gold for the level that we're currently on, so we should have a great time spending it. I really hope that you all do enjoy this episode, everyone. Please remember to hit that like button if you did, and of course, thank you very much for watching. You are all absolutely awesome. Okay, so the first thing we want to do here is upgrade the Drunken Brawler to over level 400, I reckon, so we can four times his DPS output. There we go, very nice. And same with Brittany Beach Princess. Awesome. I reckon I might get Sid the Adventurer to over level 400 as well. There we go, nice. Now, who else should we level up here, guys? Hmm. I reckon we'll purchase the Wind Deity. There we go. That should be a huge amount of DPS. Yeah, look at that. That is what I like to see, man. Here we go. The level 95 boss. And the boss is dead. <laughs> awesome. Um, what I want to do is upgrade Beast Lord to level 75. So I can purchase his upgrade called Sacrificial Lamb's Blood to increase the DPS of all heroes by 10%. There we go. Very nice. Oh, his next upgrade is Super Clicks. Cool. Okay, let's move on to the next level here. Level 96, guys. And we're doing a huge amount of damage right now. Cannot complain with that one bit. I'm gonna upgrade the Wind Deity by a bit. There we go, nice. Huge amount of damage being done thanks to the Wind Deity. Gotta love that, man. I reckon I might upgrade the Goddess of War now. There we go, cool. Increase her DPS as well. Perhaps I'll upgrade the Goddess of Love to increase her DPS as well. Very nice. Hmm. Perhaps I should get Beast Lord to level 100, everyone, so I can purchase Super Clicks. Yeah, I reckon I'll do that. There we go. Just purchase Super Clicks, everyone. Sweet. Now we're on level 98. Very nice. Okay, just purchasing the Goddess of War's uh, abilities here. go, Boiling Blood. Now the Goddess of War is fully upgraded. Awesome. I reckon I'll keep upgrading the Wind Deity here though. There you go. Increase her DPS by 100%. Very nice, man. Level 100 boss. Omet, one hero soul. And now I have a hero soul. That is what I like to see, dude. Ascend for plus three hero souls. Great. Okay, level 101. I'm gonna take off farming mode so we can just cruise through the levels here. Can upgrade the Goddess of Love a bit. There we go, nice. Now, is there anyone else I should upgrade while I'm here? Hmm. Not too sure right now, to be honest. I reckon I'll just keep upgrading these higher class heroes to try and get the max DPS output. Yeah, we'll do that for sure. Okay. Upgrade the Wind Deity by 10 levels there. Just got it to level 25, so I can purchase Annoying Winds. There we go, sweet. Doing some really good DPS right now. Oh, level 105 boss. Just destroying her at the moment. There we go, boss down. Very nice. Getting a good amount of gold out of that. Just upgrading the Goddess of Love to increase her DPS by 100%. Gonna be upgrading to Energize soon, by the way, guys. Has to be level 100 though. Ooh, interesting. That might take a little bit to save up to, I'm not gonna lie. I really do need Energize though, it's a really good ability. Once I kill this boss, I'll move on. There we go, very nice. Try and grind as much gold as we can here. Might have to keep upgrading the Wind Deity though to try and get that big DPS boost that I need. What was that? Hang on, was that a relic? Dude, that was a relic ooze then. Okay. Let's check out what we just unlocked. What's this? Fluorite necklace of thrift. We found an epic relic, everyone. Minus 1% hero hiring and level up cost. Okay. So we found a relic. Cannot complain with that one bit. Ha <laughs> ha, sweet. And we also have 30 rubies, guys. So I'm going to purchase plus 3 random gilded heroes. Here we go, what do we get? Ah, Alexa Assassin. Ivan the Drunken Brawler. 
Bobby Bounty Hunter. Nice. Finally got a new hero. Lovely, dude. We're on forest level 109. Okay. Where's Bobby Bounty Hunter? Here he is. Let's upgrade him quite a bit here to try and get as much DPS as we can out of him. Trying to get him four times damage output. There we go. Nice. Okay. That's sweet, dude. Upgraded the Wind Deity some more there. Can't believe we've got another Relic kill. Really happy with that. Hopefully we have enough DPS to take down the level 110 boss. Let's see how we go here, hey guys? Just trying to grind here a bit, try and save up some gold. Gonna upgrade Beast Lord a bit here. Sure there's no harm in that, right? <laughs> try and get him to level 200. Four times his DPS output. Alright guys, about the four times Beast Sword's DPS output. There we go, very nice. Okay. So we're just going to upgrade the Wind Deity a little bit more here, and then we're going to move on to level 110 boss. Should be no real problem with that. Okay, I think we upgraded the Wind Deity enough here, so let's move on to level 110 boss. I don't think I'm going to be able to idle him down, so I'm just going to try and kick him down, everyone. I hope I can do this in time. Should be able to if I click fast enough, hopefully. There we go. Awesome. Now moving on to level 111. Excellent. Just trying to smash out the clips right now. Oh, there we go, that's enough clicking. So now we'll go back to idle mode. <laughs> Just gonna upgrade the Wind Deity some more here. Very nice. So we've made some really good progression so far in this part. I'm very happy with how this is going. Just trying to save up some more money here, to be honest. Might upgrade the Drunken Brawler a bit more. Might as well, dude. No harm in that, right? There we go, nice. Same with Britney Beach Princess and Tree Beast. There we go. With the Masked Samurai. Upgrade him a bit more there as well. He's nearly at level 600. Sweet. Try four times his DPS output as well. There we go. That's how that's done, everyone. I really want to get the Masked Samurai to Gilded Hero status, but that costs 80 Hero Souls, everyone. So no way I'm going to pay for that. Well, I guess I could upgrade Bobby Bounty Hunter. Nah. No real point in that either. I'm just going to keep upgrading the Wind Deity for now. She's my highest DPS output at the moment, so the best thing to do is probably just stick to her. Definitely. We're on Drylands 112 at the moment, everyone. We're doing actually really well so far. I reckon once I hit that level 115 wall, I might actually end the part there. And perhaps in the next part we'll ascend. Who knows, dude? I guess we'll find out soon. Alright, there we go. Area is completed. Now moving on to level 113. We're hitting the wall right now, guys. So, pretty much until Click Storm and Power Surge, when them cooldowns are finished, I should be able to beat the level 115 boss thanks to Super Clicks as well. And Lucky Strikes, of course. We'll see how that goes, though. I'm fairly sure after I use these cooldowns, I'm just going to end the part, everyone. Just to save time and effort. In the next part though, it's going to be one hell of a ride, man. We're going to be ascending, I'm fairly sure. I've noticed something, everyone. We haven't even found one clickable yet in this part. That's actually really strange. <laughs> There's a clickable, everyone. Sweet, found a ruby as well. Alright, what is this? Blade Storm. Here we go, just unlock Blade Storm. Massive DPS increase to the Wind Deity there. Gonna try and purchase Energize, okay. Definitely gonna try and save up for Energize here, guys. Really wanna get it. Shouldn't be too much of a problem to get. We unlocked level 114, by the way, sweet. There we go, just purchase Energize. That's what I'm talking about, man. Okay, moving on to level 114 now. This is the ultimate grind, dude. 
Alright guys, we're about to take down the level 115 boss. Here we go, this should be really good. Let's see how much health he has. Wow, look at that. <laughs> a massive amount of health. Okay, get ready guys, this should be a really interesting battle. Here we go, let's do this. You ready? Three, two, one. Look at the money I'm getting, man. Oh, <laughs> yes. There we go, boss down. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. Smashing through these levels at the moment. These mobs are standing no chance right now, dude. Look at this, level 117 now. Wow! Ah, there we go, it all ran out. Oh, I was having such a fun time then. Such a shame, everyone. Look how much damage we're doing as well. <laughs> yes. Okay, so we just saved up all that amount of gold there. Excellent. Now, should I upgrade the Wind Deity some more or the Grant the General? Hmm. Definitely grant the general, okay, yeah, for sure. There we go, level 10 for grant the general, sweet. Got a huge DPS increase there. The wind deity to level 75 and increasing her DPS by 100%. Alright, nice. You need to upgrade the wind deity to level 100 to get the reload skill. Hmm, interesting. Oh, what's this? Red whip to increase the DPS of all heroes by 25%. I definitely want to try and save up for that. That's going to take quite a bit. I reckon we'll get that in the next part, everyone. Okay, guys. I hope you have all enjoyed this part. Please remember to hit that like button if you did. And, of course, thank you very much for watching. See you in a couple of days for the next part of my Click Heroes playthrough. Oh, this a bee. Right as I was about to leave, dude. <laughs> what are the chances of that? What did I just unlock? Here we go. Click Storm. Wow. Lucky. So we just got a quick storm out of nowhere, everyone. Might as well use it, dude. No harm in that, right? There we go. Alright, sweet. That quick storm's about to wear off. Yeah, there it is. Okay, cool. Alright, everyone. See you around.